but half of the cells had received a previous exposure to HCG and half hadn't. Now they actually found that there was a significant Hey guys, Fitness Science here coming at you with a really interesting study about HCG 1982 for post-cycle therapy. In this study, they isolated the Leydig cells from rat testes and actually looked at how they respond to HCG. Now, this is really applicable to the fitness community because a lot of people use HCG as a chemical in order to boost their testosterone back up after steroid use, um, primarily in post-cycle therapy. Now, just out of interest, as you can see in this photo, the HCG or luteinizing hormone receptor, which HCG is actually binding to, are actually found on the microvilli, so the external surface of the Leydig cells themselves, and HCG mimics this luteinizing hormone in order to elicit a testosterone response. And the idea is that by injecting yourself with HCG, you are mimicking the body's ability to produce more testosterone and sending the message out for the Leydig cells to start synthesizing testosterone and this photo here is absolutely amazing because the black dots you can see is actually HCG binding to the surface of the Leydig cell so they're the receptors right there that you can see and you can sort of see them going into the cell itself and that is the receptor allowing HCG into the cell but the most important thing from this study is that they were able to elicit a desensitization response from HCG so basically they had two groups and one of the groups was the Leydig cells from the rat testes they bathed this in saturating amounts of HCG at 100 nanograms per milliliter and the other group was of Leydig cells that weren't bathed at all in HCG, but half of the cells had received a previous exposure to HCG and half hadn't. Now they actually found that there was a significant decrease in the amount of LH receptor sites per the Leydig cell when the cells were previously exposed to the HCG. And testosterone production fell significantly in the group of cells that had been exposed to previous HCG. Also, what they found was pregnenolone, which is a key chemical in the formation of testosterone. This was actually lowered as well in the cells that had previously been exposed to HCG. And this is essentially the researchers saying that somehow the steroidal biosynthesis was being suppressed. And this seemed to be happening at a chemical step higher than pregnenolone. Alone. So the two main things that we can draw from this study is Firstly, it's really interesting to know that LH and HCG work together and essentially bind to the same receptor. But the most important thing is that it is possible to overstimulate the Leydig cells with HCG in post-cycle therapy. So much so that overexposing yourself to HCG can actually suppress your Leydig cells completely and testosterone rates were lower. So for PCT, this means that huge amounts of HCG are definitely not needed. The idea of PCT is just to give enough luteinizing hormone mimic, which is HCG, in order to stimulate the Leydig cells. You basically want to stimulate only, you don't want to annihilate the Leydig cells with huge amounts of HCG, which will just be suppressive. And you've already likely gone through a very long cycle if you're coming off that has been incredibly suppressive, so you don't want to further suppress your Leydig cells. And down-regulating the luteinizing hormone receptor with huge amounts of HCG is just gonna make you feel even more crap and testosterone biosynthesis will be happening even less. So basically all you need to know is that high doses of HCG can be suppressive and you do not need much at all in order to elicit a testosterone biosynthesis result. Moderate doses of HCG in post-cycle therapy would be much preferable and you just need enough to stimulate the Leydig cell to come back online. If you guys are interested in the actual dosing of how to do this, feel free to drop a comment just below this video. I'm just a bit wary to give an actual dosage in this video because everyone's situation is different so if you drop a comment below and you need help on this more than happy to help you out with my opinion of course always speak to your doctor but i'm happy to give you my opinion on what i think you should be doing if you need help with post-cycle therapy apart from that that's all from me just a quick little study because i thought it was quite interesting i think this photo is absolutely amazing in that you can literally see hcg working its way into the lighting cell and working on the receptor. The biology of fitness is absolutely amazing and it's my goal to keep you healthy and safe in the industry because there is so much marketing BS out there. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate all the support and I will see you in the next video. Fitness Science, signing out.